Hi, in today's vlog I would like to talk a bit about uh, cutting costs in business. And this is one of super important topics and uh, not so many people I have impression talk about it at all. Uh, so here is just one example. What I did today and what I should have done so long time ago. Um, but yeah, just listen. Uh, when I started company in Japan, I got uh, an office, uh, which was necessary to obtain a business visa and um, was also in good location. So it added a little bit of prestige to the company and so on. It looked really, this address looked really good on the business card. So um, like everyone who, who saw it, it was like, oh, that's must be good company because location is great. It was Shinjuku, uh, one like the center of, of Tokyo. So yeah, it, it, it was great. And also it served the purpose to obtain the, the business visa, business manager visa. But there is a problem because this office was pretty expensive. And uh, because I mostly work from home, uh, I, I haven't been using it at all. Uh, so because my priorities as well change, I got um, the spouse visa as well. So this purpose of um, having a business manager visa was no longer valid. And uh, because of that, I also came to conclusion that uh, mm, I actually don't need this expensive office. It, I will be completely fine with a virtual office. Uh, so today I went and uh, cancel the contract. Um, so what, what difference does it make? It's uh, basically a few thousand dollars uh, savings. So uh, if you just add it up with time, it generates a pretty big sum, which of course is much better to spend on uh, either product marketing or other things. So what I will do now, actually, instead of having this uh, physical office, which was not actually needed, because if I need to meet with the um, customer, for example, uh, usually I meet in their offices or I just rent a meeting room. It's um, there is something called um, space market, uh, which works really great in Tokyo. You can just rent um, like any type of space uh, very cheaply in, in very good locations. So if you want to rent something in Shibuya, if you there is like any location in Tokyo, just the only limitation may be your budget, of course, uh, because some of those will be really expensive, even for like few hour uh, use. So um, if I need to meet with the customer, I will just use that or I will choose um, maybe some co-working space or anything like that, right? Um, address. I still wanted to have this good um, good address from good neighborhood, uh, like connected with business and so on. Uh, so I started to doing some research and uh, actually there are some virtual offices um, in that area, not exactly the same location, of course, but in that area, also in Shinjuku, uh, which are, uh, let me tell you, eight, eight to ten, ten times cheaper than what I was using until now. So there is absolutely no sense of having the physical office. I just need my correspondence handled and I can go and pick it up like, uh, once a week or once a month if I don't have time. Uh, and if I want to travel, I travel. I don't stress about that. Virtual office, actually, the basic package um, from what I saw, there are different options, different uh, companies which are doing that. But uh, this particular will cost around $100 per month and it will be like a pretty good package with everything I actually need. So this kind of saving uh, maybe doesn't sound like much when you're just thinking about monthly payment, but 
it can add up during the year or years actually of uh, using something you actually don't use fully. Um, so here is one lesson from that. Uh, I think it's a good strategy to once a quarter see where you are spending money from your company, your company money, basically. And uh, like think, if you do a move and change something, does it make sense? Um, will you save enough money? How much time also will take you to make that change? Because sometimes um, it's not worth the effort, right? If you are going to spend, I don't know, 20, 30 hours on something, um, let's say one hour of your time is worth $100. So that's like $3,000. Is it worth to do that move to to maybe different office or resign and find different service and um, and change things? Sometimes it's not worth it. But of course, in that situation, I do, did the math and uh, it basically adds up that that's the better solution for the coming years. So yeah, just just my thought about that. Uh, don't wait with the things like that. Uh, if it doesn't take too much time, do that early, do that quick. Um, and those savings you will see in your profit sheets uh, within next month. So uh, it basically, it's it's worth it. Yeah, so that's it uh, in this episode. Uh, I hope you, you liked it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about that. And... Um, Maybe you have similar story. Maybe you saved your company money in some other creative way. Just let me know. Uh, I'm looking forward to your comments. Take care. Bye-bye.